Hey everyone, this is Haley from Cartoonverse, and for this video, I want to talk about fusions. Now, fusions are definitely one of my favorite parts of the show. I love seeing all the new ones that come out over the years, and just all the unique things that each one of them can do, and, uh, you know, their personalities and all that from each of their component parts. And just learning about fusion in general was an amazing part of the seniors' experience for me. And, uh, I'm gonna get more into that, that soon, but let's talk about something else for a second. So, in a recent video, I talked about Lars and his future, but now I want to discuss something else we learned at San Diego Comic Con, which Michael already made a video about. I'm going to go more in depth now about the future of Rose Quartz and what it means to be a fusion. The big thing I want to talk about regarding fusions in general was something that was addressed in Know Your Fusion. And a huge thank you to the blog FTAFP, which I got a lot of information from for this video, and I will link his blog down below. And I honestly hadn't considered a lot of this until recently, and I must admit, it's pretty cool. So the episode makes a point that every fusion gets a new ability of sorts. Every fusion gets something new. A new power, a new weapon, like a yo-yo? Yes, but better. And with every fusion we see, this actually works out really well. Garnet cannot generate electricity, Sugalite has an enormous amount of physical strength, Alexandrite can breathe fire, Opal is an archery master, and Smoky Quartz can perform difficult yo-yo tricks. Sardonic seems to have a really good performer abilities and is able to spin parts of her body around. Malachi doesn't seem to have one of these skills, although they are extremely powerful for a two-gem fusion, so that could be part of it, but this might also be due to them being really unstable. And we haven't seen enough of Rainbow Quartz to really make a conclusion about their ability, but I will get to that at the end of the video. So with each of these fusions, there is always something that their component parts couldn't do normally. We saw that Smoky Quartz was unable to use a bow well, even though Amethyst makes up part of Opal. And I'm sure if it was just Amethyst by herself, she would be no better at it. Maybe Pearl would be okay, but nothing close to Opal's level. But there is one more fusion I have neglected to mention thus far, and that of course is Stevani. Because Connie is a regular human, it'd be logical to think that they don't really have anything different about them that Steven or Connie couldn't already do. All of Stevani's powers are from Steven, such as the shield and floating, and Connie is a really good fighter, which we also see in Stevani. But I believe that there's actually something very special about them that is really quite obvious when you think about it. They are a teenager. Yeah, that does sound pretty silly because it is quite apparent. However, because of how they look and act, they can get away with all the things that only older kids can. For example, they could go to dance parties and look like they belong there. This does mean that they will get unwanted attention, but that's what comes with being so awesome. So that could just be due to their looks and personality. But something that cannot be anything but original is Stevani's ability to drive. It was said that Steven nor Connie had ever driven before, yet in Beat City Drift they did just that. Not only that, but they ended up being quite good. And what can many teenagers do after their 16th birthday? Learn to drive. But for Stevani, it came naturally. Connie and Steven do not have any real teenager experience, but as Stevani they are thrust upon situations more fitted for someone at least a few years older than themselves. And for the most part, they are a natural at it. But with being a teenager does come with a few other things, and perhaps keeping what I just explained in mind, things will make a bit more sense. We can see that in one more occasion, Stevani has had to deal with hallucinations of sorts. These are kind of the representation of their feelings, as they always struggle to break free when they lose touch with reality. Many as teenagers can relate to going through horrible emotional trauma and having to deal with that. At the age that Stevani represents, these can be represented via these illusions. They might try to repress their feelings, but it's really all inside their head, and they have to learn to overcome these fears, just as a real teenager might. And of course younger people can feel like this as well, however these types of events only happen in the show when Steven and Connie are fused, so my point stands. There are some benefits to being a teenager for a bit, but it also means having to deal with the emotional consequences. So that was Stevani. Now as I promised, I want to talk about the return of Rainbow Quartz. This fusion, as we saw her in We Need to Talk, did not have too much personality to them besides an amazing design. We only saw them for a few seconds, so their personality is really unclear like I said. But we do know that the fusion is going to make a return, which means that Steven and Pearl will fuse. This was said by Rebecca Sugar during San Diego Comic Con, she kind of let it slip accidentally, so we know we are getting them back again, and that is super exciting. So from what we saw in the past, it seemed like Rainbow Quartz was willing to take some risks and show off in front of Greg. Also, she is great at dancing, but besides that, this fusion is pretty much a blank slate. But it's not like the past Rainbow Quartz's personality would even matter too much, since Steven is not the same person as Rose Quartz. He's his own individual, and with that brings many different things into the fusion. 
However, I still think that there would be some similarities between the two, especially color scheme and possibly their style of clothing. These are still the same two gems combining to create a rainbow quartz, so most of their differences should lie in personality. Now we have to then think of what the combination of Pearl and Steven would be like. Sure, they can have a lot of differences, but they also need to have some part of them that works well together and can give them an advantage in battle. I could see that one thing that we do know about Rose Quartz already being useful here. As we know, they are quite the dancer, so I wouldn't be too surprised if they used more modern dance moves to use to their advantage as they dodge attacks, or even to use attacks of their own. Or I could use the fact that Rainbow Quartz seem really to take risks as something that both Steven and Pearl have in common that would be highlighted in their fusion. Both of them put themselves in harm's way for those that they love, and of course at times this can be a bad thing because it gets them in trouble when they try to tackle problems way too big for them alone and they don't think things through enough. But Fuse, they will be together, and they can be much more confident about their odds. I would still like to stand by my choice of their fusion weapon, which I discussed in a video from a year ago about being a parasol, which could have its uses as they move gracefully yet still manage to do a lot of damage. There's some other things of course, but if you haven't seen that video I recommend checking it out since it's one of my favorites. And with that, I've talked about all the fusions and what unique powers they hold. If I missed one, I'm so sorry about that. Fusions are one of my favorite parts of the show and I cannot wait to meet more. So that wraps up this stereo video. If you liked what you saw, please make sure to subscribe and click the bell after you do so to get notifications for whenever we upload. I'm going to try and get uploading more often, so look forward to that. These types of videos do take a while to make however, so please consider becoming a patron via Patreon. I'm very happy to get a huge shout out to our patrons for their continued support to this channel. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.